same rainfall that nourishes the land can create severe flooding and runoff. They had just gone head to head with one of nature's most powerful and destructive forces, a landslide. They strike wherever the soil is loosened by rain or tugged by gravity. It can be a rockfall or a raging river of mud. But wherever the ground fails, it can result in massive destruction. Landslides usually follow other natural disasters in a search for high-tech solutions a surprisingly low-tech answer has emerged, vetiver. Over the past 20 years, it has been developed under the vetiver system and found to be ideal for soil and water conservation and to have numerous bioengineering applications. This is a typical diversion we normally do to control runoff from our fields, but the problem with diversions, you need maintenance. And also the initial cost of having a grader and a bulldozer here is quite expensive. Compared to a very first strip, you know, one person can do it themselves. It's not going to be very expensive. It's just the planting material and his time. As a developed country, we've relied too often and too much on rigid structures to stabilize areas that really could be organically stabilized using a, a plant such as vetiver. After all, we probably have a good idea what it costs to build a retaining wall with footings that penetrate six feet. This is a plant that has a value of one six mile steel, and its roots penetrate 12 to 15 feet down to stabilize areas. The root penetrates vertically. There isn't lateral movement with this plant. At maturity, this plant will be two feet in diameter. If you'll imagine this row of vetiver with an equally dense web of roots interconnected that goes the entire length of this row, it's pretty impressive. And it tells you quite honestly that the soil's not going anywhere. Very resilient. You can actually cut it to hedge it to a low height. It also can burn and come back, I believe, from the uh, roots. So it's, it's quite a resilient plant. More than 100 countries are using the vetiver system technology. And the success of vetiver, as it's because the silt is remaining on the ground where it belongs. Perhaps most importantly, the variety of vetiver used in Hawaii, known as sunshine vetiver, is not fertile and therefore not invasive. This is a plant that is labor intensive. You cannot buy vetiver seed. So as far as we're concerned, I mean, as far as uh, trying to do its job, you can't find a better grass than vetiver. It doesn't require any maintenance. It's tough, it's resilient, and as you can see, it's uh, fairly drought resistant also.
Mm-hmm.